guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about preparing your child for big school and things that I've done to get my son Caleb ready to start reception. I had actually hoped to get this video out about a month ago, but we went on holiday and time ran away with me. But I still think it's worth making with just two weeks before my children start school. It just might make you think of a few last minute things you wanna teach your child or something you've forgotten to get. So I hope you really like it. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, I'd love for you to subscribe to my videos. My first tip you have probably already done if your children are starting in 2018, but that is to go to all of your children's settling in visits and meet the teacher nights. This of course just makes your child familiar with the school and where we live in the UK, they also do home visits, which are optional. But Caleb's teacher actually came to our house to visit. She probably got so much insight into his life that he's got these two brothers and where he lives and Caleb was so excited to show her his room and I think it made him feel really really comfortable with her. Next up make sure you have all the school uniform that you're going to need for your child. We're very lucky in the UK that children wear uniforms to school and I was therefore given a checklist of everything that I needed to buy for Caleb and I've just gone ahead and ordered that and made sure every single thing is labeled even down to socks. From my experience with my older son I know that almost everything goes missing and you'll want to have their name on it. I will link the labels that we used down below. I think they were from a website called Easy to Name, but they have his name on it and they even have my mobile number on it and they're sticky. So you don't have to iron them in, you don't have to sew them in, you can just stick them into the tags and you can wash them as normal and they stay there. Make sure you have a trial run of them putting the whole uniform on. Just make sure it all fits. Do you need to take up trousers? Do you need to alter anything? And I made sure that I bought a velvet Velcro shoes because he's still only four he will need to be able to put his own shoes on so make sure they are velcro if you've already made the mistake of getting lace-up shoes don't worry there are these amazing elasticated laces that you can get so you can take out the lace that has come with the shoe if your children don't know how to do them up yet and you can replace it with like an elastic um, lace and therefore they can then open them up slip them on and then they sort of tighten up again so that's a really good hack but also we have got all of the boys lunch boxes and cups as well and we involved them in buying these so we took both of the boys out to the supermarket and they chose Fraser has this crocodile alien thing and it came with a cup and Caleb chose Avengers and I really like these lunch bags with a cup on the side because then the cup is not in with the food and it won't leak on the food and another really good tip is to make sure that your children can open all of the Tupperware that you're going to send in with them so this will be for snack for Caleb and I've already asked him to try and open this and he can easily open this there would be nothing worse than for them to get to snack time or to lunch time and then have to wait for their teacher to come around and open it for them. As you can imagine, there's like 30 children in a class and that would be really difficult. So make sure that they can open everything that you send them in with and label it. You must label it. And while we're talking about clothes, it's also a really good idea to make your children as independent as possible when it comes to getting dressed. Can your child dress themselves? Caleb was struggling with one thing and that was to put on his socks. So all summer we've been practicing putting on socks and he's there now, he can do that. But also can they put on their shoes on the right feet can they put on a winter jacket by themselves and do it up so Fraser does this really cool hack where he puts the hood of his winter jacket on the front of his face and then he swings it around and puts his arms through and we also got really simple winter coats that just have a few buttons on the outside so that he didn't have to fiddle with zips or anything like that there would be nothing worse than being desperate to go out to play but having to wait for a teacher or someone like that to do up their zip. My next tip is to help your child be as independent as possible when it comes to toileting. Now this is something that I didn't really like to think about. They still seem so young to me and like they would need help. But at school, when a teacher has 30 children to be looking after, they cannot help every child on the toilet. So you must make sure that they are capable of 
going into the toilet, pulling their trousers down, going to the toilet, wiping, flushing, and washing their hands. So Caleb struggles to remember to flush, so we've really been focusing on that, and also practicing wiping, and also just talking about the importance of hygiene. Caleb actually really likes to wash his hands. We have really lovely smelling soap. I buy um, candy smelling soap for the kids, um, and he loves using that, so that's not a problem. And we talk about how the germs on your hands can make you sick, so I'm not worried about all that. It was more the wiping and the flushing, so so it's just worth thinking about all of those stages and just really realizing that they won't have help on the toilet. So you really need to get them confident because you don't want them to feel embarrassed at school. And same goes for making your children independent when it comes to meal times. So if your child is planning to have school dinners, teach them how to use a knife and fork or at least a fork or a fork and a spoon, just anything but their hands. And again, talk to them about the importance of washing their hands before they eat and even practicing pouring drinks because I know some schools have that and if you plan to send your child to school with a packed lunch again make sure they can open all the containers and also put a straw into a juice box if they're going to have that as well again teachers are just so busy and even though there are people helping out at lunch it'll be so much nicer if they can just get on and eat their dinner there's also a few other things I wanted to share with you that we've been doing with Caleb through the summer months to make sure that he remembers what he learned in preschool and can take that through to reception but I wouldn't worry too much about this bit because all children learn at different rates and Caleb is one of the eldest in his year he is an October baby so he is very ready for school and he's kind of done a whole year of preschool up until now but we have been practicing his numbers and phonics I got these two huge posters from Poundland I think they were a pound for both of them and they've been brilliant this one is all the numbers from 1 to 100 we keep it under his bed and then at night after we've read our books we will go through all the numbers and he really loves reading all of the numbers to me he can do one to a hundred the only ones that he ever struggles with are the teens so he really struggles with the number 13 and 15 as well he always says 15 for 15. Yeah, if you can get your child to be able to count to 20, chances are they will then be able to count to 100 because it's a very similar kind of pattern. And same goes for phonics. We got this one there and it just goes through the phonics. So we'll just go through A ah, for airplane, you know, just go through all of them and just make sure. There's a couple that he struggles with on here as well. He struggles with M and N being the same, um, D and B as well. And one thing that I do, I don't know if this is right, but if I I take one of Caleb's favorite books and then I'm reading the story if we get to a small or short word and I know that he kind of already knows the story I'll say to him what is this word and because he kind of knows the story he's able to say it and I believe it's building up his confidence and he can sound out a few things so that's his favorite word to say poo and he can kind of easily sound that out but also words like cat mum ball, simple words like that, he can kind of read already, so that's great. But also thinking about how they hold their pencil, can they use scissors, do they know their colors, things like that all helps. Another really good tip is to make sure your child can recognize their name if it's written. Their name will probably be on labels for hooks, books, self-registration and other things as well so it's really important that they know their name and what it looks like it's also great if they can write their name themselves or at least the first letter um, and when we were teaching Caleb how to write his own name we used to do a dot to dot thing and he really enjoyed doing that my next tip is to make an effort with the parents of the other children in your child's class now this may not come naturally and you don't have to be best friends with anyone but this can be so useful in my elder son's year what we did is set up a Facebook group for all the mums and dads of that year and it has been so invaluable. I prefer it to a WhatsApp group because I feel like on a WhatsApp group it's all the time and it can be all consuming but on a Facebook group you can just post in there if you need to you know is it today that's the non-uniform day when's the school trip and you'll always get an answer from all the other parents so that has been really really good and there may come a time in the future when you need someone else to pick up your child because you're stuck in traffic or something like that so it's really good to have a few close friends 
We've also been working on Caleb's sharing, listening, and manners too. Now, Caleb is one of three boys, so he is very used to having to take turns, but there are some great turn-taking games that you can play, and there's also some great listening games, like Simon Says, which Caleb loves to play. They have to listen and then think about what you've said, and also manners. We're trying to just drum that into him, because I think that will go a very long way. When it comes to school, if he can ask nicely to go to the toilet or put his hand up nicely as well we also like to play school so just do some role playing with some stickers I'll sit on the chair as the teacher and then the kids will sit on the floor and we'll just play school and they absolutely love it and it's just great practice and the last thing that I wanted to say is be as positive and strong as you possibly can be. Our children look to us for reactions and if they see that we are getting upset or that we want to crumble and cry because they're no longer babies anymore, that could cause them some anxiety. So just try and be excited about this next chapter for them and then once you drop them off, cry your eyes out. <laughs> um, but yeah, talk about it, but again, don't talk about it all the time, non-stop. So yeah, I wish you luck. I will be in tears on the first day as as well and yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in my next one bye guys